everyone, welcome to Bite Size Science. My name is Sarah and I'm a scientist at Pfizer. More specifically, I'm an immunologist, which means I study our body's immune system. Our body's immune system is really important at making sure that we stay healthy by fighting off different germs that make us sick, like viruses or bacteria. Our immune system is like our body's own personal military. And just like the military has different branches like the army, the navy, and the marines, our immune system has different cell types like macrophages, dendritic cells, B cells, or T cells. T cells are my favorite immune cell, and so those are the ones we're going to talk about today. T cells are really important in making sure that we stay healthy, and they do this by getting rid of different bacteria or viruses and that make us sick. And when we get sick, we're, they're able to go around our body, find the different things that are making us sick, and get rid of them. But how do they do this and how do they know what the bad guys are and what they look like? So they're able to do this by help from other immune cells called macrophages or dendritic cells. And these cells eat the different bacteria or viruses and they break them into little bitty bits and they take those bits and they stick them on the surface of the cell. When they stick them on the surface, then T cells are able to see them. And so now not only does the T cell know what the bad guy looks like, but they also get turned on, which we call activated. And when they're turned on, they're ready to do their job and fight the different germs to make sure that we can get better. When the T cells turned on, there's usually just one of them in the start, but then they're able to multiply and make tons and tons. So then you have hundreds of different T cells and you make your own little T cell army that goes around your body and is able to fight off the various bacteria or viruses that are making us sick. When our T cells go from one to making tons, we call this proliferation. So our T cells are able to multiply. So we have this whole army going around and making sure that we can stay healthy. There's two types of T cells. We have killer T cells and helper T cells. Killer T cells are important because they're able to get rid of cells that are already sick and have been infected by viruses or bacteria. They're also important because they're able to get rid of or destroy the bacteria and viruses themselves that are just going around our body. But these killer T cells need help from our helper T cells. And our helper T cells are super important because they help our killer T cells do a better job, but they also turn on and activate other different types of cells that are able to gobble up and eat and get rid of our bacteria or viruses that are making our cells feel sick. And lastly, they're able to turn on B cells. And B cells are really important because they make these things called antibodies. And antibodies act like little tags that can tell the rest of our cells what the bad guys are. So the tags are able to say, hey, this is a bad guy and this is things that you should get rid of or destroy because they're making us feel sick. It's really important to remember that although T cells are super important, you need your whole immune cell working, immune system working together and all the cells to make sure that you stay healthy. Thanks so much for listening to Bite Size Science and stay tuned for another lesson.